All right. And up next, let's talk about how we can leverage JavaScript, basically how we can use JavaScript to fix issues if the data is missing. And if you're a little bit confused on this entire topic, don't worry, as we're going to be working through the examples, you'll see what I'm talking about. First, notice over here that in the app, I'm not importing that. And I'm doing that on a purpose because we'll set up everything from the scratch. So let's navigate to tutorial. And we'll right away start with the challenge. And as you can see, the further we get in tutorial, the more challenges we have, because now I want you to utilize everything that we have learned so far. And in this video, or more precisely in this section, so most likely in the following video, we'll rely heavily on optional chaining. And if you're not familiar with this topic, please utilize this JavaScript Nuggets video. Now I do have the info also in the readme. So if you don't feel like watching the video, you can just scroll down in the readme as well. So first, I want you to navigate to 05 leverage JavaScript, and you're looking for the starter. And in there, we basically want to set up the component. Now, before we set up the component, I just want you to navigate to data JS and take a look, we have this people array. So this is what we're going to be importing into a list one. So whenever I say people, just think of this array. And as you can see in here, we basically have list of objects and each object represents the person. And the gotcha here is that some objects have the properties, for example, nickname, and the images URL and some don't. And before you wonder why is that the setup? Because this is, I wouldn't say quite typical, but don't be surprised if you work with an API. And that's the case. Again, I'm not saying that every API has this issue where basically the data is missing, but you will run into some instances where essentially, yes, some items have certain properties and some don't. And also it happens quite often when you work with headless CMSs, essentially a nice graphical interface where you can add your own data. And for some weird reason, let's say you forgot to add that data. And that quite often happens with the images. Trust me on this one for sure. And if you're wondering why we have this weird nested structure, again, when it comes to images, don't be surprised if you actually see this in the real world. It's not as flat as you might expect. So you're not gonna have a bunch of items with just, okay, name, nickname, and image. No, when it comes to real APIs, yes, you have this nested, sometimes weird structure. So the sooner we get comfortable with that, the better it's gonna be in the long run. So hopefully this is clear. Hopefully you haven't turned off since I was just ranting here about the array. And now let's navigate back. So effectively this is the challenge we want to create a new component i'm going to call this list call this i don't know orange still going to work and in the list i want to import the people array again from the data i just showed you and i just want you to iterate over and render a name that's it let's just start very simply we'll display the name now once everything is correct once you can see the name in the browser after that, I want to set this one up in a separate component, basically what we're returning. And this is a good use case to try Glean extension. Now you don't have to, but I will. I'll just showcase how the extension works. And then in the person, try to render all three properties. And I'm sorry, this is a mistake. We're not going to be looking for a sister. We're going to be looking for the image. So initially when I was building this example, I used sister. But in fact, we're looking for the image. And as far as your question, do I effectively need to get this URL? Yes, you're absolutely correct. So in order to show the image, you have to figure out how to access the URL, which is quite nested, as you can see. And if everything is correct, yes, there will be a bug. Effectively, that's the point of these videos to show you how we can avoid such bugs. So try to work on a challenge. And whenever you're ready to compare the results, resume with the videos.